वेलकम टू द प्रोजेक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ आर्डिनो बेस्ड ए सी इंडक्शन मोटर पैरामीटर्स मॉनिटरिंग यूजिंग आई ओ टी सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू मॉनिटर द पैरामीटर्स लाइक करंट वोल्टेज टेम्परेचर एंड मोटर आर पी एम सो दिस फोर पैरामीटर्स कंटिन्यूसली मॉनिटरिंग ऑन एल सी डी स्क्रीन एंड द सेम डाटा विल बी अपलोडेड टू द थिंग स्पीक क्लाउड बाई यूजिंग ई एस पी ए टू डबल सिक्स वाई फाइव मॉड्यूल सो हियर द इनपुट सर टू मेजरिंग द ओल्टेज ऑफ दिस ए सी मोटर when we are regulating that voltage means using this regulator we can control the voltage to the ac induction motor that will be measured by this potential transformer and a current transformer will measure the current when we are rotating the motor so these two outputs is ac so in order to convert that ac to dc here voltage potential transformer will using this one rectifier circuits this are the what regulated power supply board so which will take to uh, this ac from this uh, potential transformer and it will convert that into pulsating dc and then after this filter it will remove the pulses and we will get the pure dc voltage so that dc consists of around of 12 to 15 volts so controller is here we are using the arduino nano board which can which can measure the voltage of maximum of 5 volts so we need to uh, divide that till below 5 volts by using this potential divider circuits so here it has a 10 is to 1 potential dividing ratio means if we get the 18 volts from this regular power supply board so it will divide that into 1 is to 10 nothing but so only 1.8 volts given as input to the arduino nano board so here we are going to calculate and calibrate that to 10 times in programming so then it will be uh, measured as 18 volts so next coming to the current transformer so which is connected in series with the load so potential transformer in parallel with the load this will be in series with the load so we will get the same current which was consumed by the ac motor so here also see we can see the potential divider circuits here we need to uh, convert that 100 is to 1 why because here we will get around 230 volts ac in the current, from the current transformer so then again rectifier this is the ic version of uh, full wave bridge rectifier so the ic number is db107 after that pulsating dc again here also same smoothing purpose capacitor here again one is to 10 voltage divider circuit same the output is given as input to the uh, nano board so here the input pin sir potential transformer it is a0 current transformer a1 lm35 temperature sensor so that was interface to the a2 and uh, frequency counting nothing but rps counting is rpm counting so which is interface at the second pin of our Uh, Arduino nano board and the next so called data continuously displayed on the lcd screen so the lcd interface at pin number 3 to 10 and wifi module interface at 0 and 1 so these are the main inputs and output from module interface to the arduino nano board so before on the kits we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot's name to project 5412 and a password should be 1234567189 so here without any capital letter without any space that is very important if you miss any character the system won't connect to this hotspot and next ab band should be 2.4 gigahertz so on the hotspot on the data and log into the thingspeak cloud platform so this is the previously we have seen the data as we discussed temperature and degree centigrade rpm so revolutions per minute in uh, field 2 and next voltage and current current in milli ampere so here we are using the motor of 1000 rpm motor with 500 uh, milli amps of current were consumed by the ac motor so now after enabling the hot spots now switch on the kits so there we can see one device is connected in your phone you can see that so one device connected after this confirmation now go to the speak cloud platform so the data will be uploaded to this thing speak for every 15 seconds of duration because it will accept the data for every 15 seconds only so as of now there is no input was given to that so temperature and rpm is zero so slightly increase that So wait, wait. So now we place some uh, plaster to shaft, so we can see the motor is rotation now. So now as you can see, the voltage was given to the motor is 176 volts, and the current was 354 milliamps, and temperature 
and RPM. So this data is uploading now. So if you want to get the fresh data, so in order to remove this clumsy graph presentation, so you can clear the channel. So before before to clear the channel, better to download that as a backup. So for downloading that, go to data import exports, downloads. download it open so so it open in excel sheet format so we can see the date and time at which we took the samples and next entry id how many samples still now taken so field one we discuss is temperature and next rpm and the next uh, its voltage and next current it's milliamps so after that now you can clear the channel so for that go to channel settings so do only these settings don't touch any other options it may leads to malfunction in the kit now clear the channel right so after that now go to private view to see the graph presentation now that old data will be erased right so now we'll get the live data over here okay. So wait for 10-15 seconds. So meanwhile, you can increase the voltage here. So let us place the maximum speed. Right, we got the fresh data again. So while you are scrolling in mobile phone, better to see the laptop. While you are scrolling, just don't touch this blue bar between that. You can scroll that. So when you touch on that, we can see the current reading along with date and time. Same here also. Yes, right. So we got the one more new data. So in this, we are going to measuring the voltage from the potential transformer, current from the current transformer, temperature from the temperature sensor that is LM35, and next frequency nothing but RPS, so RPM, rotations per minute from this IR sensor. Four data continuously displayed on this LCD screen along with monitored on the or things cloud platform.